respect, several types of housing units will be offered by the NHDC, the National Empowerment Foundation, and private property developers. The size of the existing housing units for the poor will be increased, taking into consideration the family size and affordability. Government will further encourage the not-for-profit housing development trusts Innovative new vehicles which will mobilize substantial amount of financing for the construction of housing units for the poor. Government will also extend its support to those families falling under the poverty line who are not in receipt of a housing grant but who wish to upgrade their houses. Special consideration will be given to fire victims with a view to providing appropriate accommodation immediately after their dwellings are destroyed. Proper education is critical for moving out of the poverty trap. For primary students who are from less privileged background, government will introduce a one-off cash transfer where attendance rate is over 90% and the student has successfully completed yearly examinations. The one-off cash transfer will be increased for those who succeed in their CPE exams. The National Empowerment Foundation will increase the provision of learning corners with internet facilities in deprived areas to enable children of those regions to access educational sites to improve their knowledge. Counseling will be provided to children from needy families throughout their school life with a view to boosting their interest in education and overall school performance. Parents of such children will also benefit from such counseling sessions. Government will further pursue the implementation of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities by giving a new boost to training and employment of persons with disabilities. Relevant amendments will be brought to the Training and Employment of Disabled Persons Act and the National Council for Rehabilitation of Disabled Persons Act. Government proposes to introduce a disability bill in line with the Convention to provide further protection to persons with disabilities against all forms of discrimination. Government will set up a respite care center with a view to providing specialized rehabilitative services and leisure facilities to persons with disabilities. Government recognizes the valuable contribution senior citizens have made to the progress of the country. Government will set up an observatory on aging to carry out action-oriented research on the socio-economic aspects of aging. Government will bring necessary amendments to the National Pensions Act in order, in order to strengthen the management structure of the National Pension Fund and the National Savings Fund while upholding the element of good governance. Government, government will set up a legal counseling program on property rights for senior citizens to enhance legal and financial protection to the elderly. A third recreation center at Pointe au Piment will be completed by mid-2013. Government will further promote IT literacy program among the elderly so as to enable them to communicate through new technology. By 2013, government will complete the setting up of computer clubs in all the 19 elderly daycare centers. Given the current volatility in fuel and commodity prices, 
Government will continue to act as a facilitator and provider of services which are in the interest of consumers and the trading community at large. To pursue its efforts to protect the purchasing power and rights of consumers, government will introduce legislation to set up a consumer ombudsman to address both consumer rights issues as well as consumers' complaints. Government will also consolidate the role of the price observatory by extending its scope to include service sectors such as banking and finance. Government will introduce a new legislation pertaining to higher purchase and credit sale to strike the right balance between promoting business and protecting consumer rights and interests. To further protect consumers, government will propose legal amendments to improve bank resolution for the benefit of small borrowers. Government will review the whole area of personal loans granted by financial institutions. The objective will be to make it easier for small borrowers to apply for, receive, service their loans, and to create effective dispute resolution mechanisms. Government is fully committed to the effective protection of the workforce. In this respect, necessary amendments will be brought to the existing labor legislation to ensure better protection of workers' rights and to provide safer and more conducive working conditions. To enhance skills and employability among the youth, government will launch a three-year national youth employment program for those aged between 16 and 25 years to provide them with apprenticeship, training, and placement in various sectors of the economy. A stipend will be offered to the unemployed youth and their training costs will be subsidized by government. Honorable members, our strength as a nation is more than just the sum of our citizens as individuals, but how we relate to each other for the good of all. Whilst being still young, our society has benefited from a steady and resolute foundation since independence. The success of our nation illustrates the power to successfully share common values and a unique common culture blended from our diverse ancestral origins. To move our society forward, government will ensure that citizens live in a secure environment where law and order prevail, citizens have access to efficient public services, families and diverse communities remain the foundation of our society, and citizens live in clean, safe, and pleasant neighborhoods. Families and neighborhoods are the building blocks of our nation. Government is committed to the healthy development, stability, and prosperity of all Mauritian families. Government will ensure that everyone has access to increasingly better health services, a clean, safe, and pleasant neighborhood, and enhanced leisure and cultural activities. Government remains committed to continue providing customer-centric, universal, accessible, and efficient health services. The primary focus of government's health policy will be on overall wellness rather than strictly curative health care. With regard to preventive policies, our major challenges are now to prevent and control non-communicable diseases and to address the socio-economic impact of demographic transition. Government will continue to invest in health infrastructure projects. This will include increasing bed capacity substantially, 
setting up of a specialized hospital for women in collaboration with the University College Hospital in London, setting up of a pediatric hospital, a modern warehouse of international standard will be constructed for essential drugs and medical consumables, and a midway home will be set up for the rehabilitation of patients currently cared for at the Brown Squad Mental Health Care Center. Government is concerned about the increasing incidence of cancer and will present an action plan to mitigate cancer risks in the population. It will also take measures to reduce carcinogenic factors and promote healthy nutrition and lifestyle. Continue the implementation of a robust cervical and breast cancer screening program. Provide additional radiotherapy facilities. Upgrade all existing cancer care facilities. And consider the setting up of a national cancer center. An aggressive community based will be carried out throughout Mauritius in order to achieve primary prevention of non communicable diseases. Agents de Santé Communautaire will visit each household to provide counseling and distribute health education materials in order to empower the population to live healthily. Government will establish a reinforced NCD control program with emphasis on epi epidemiological aspects which include disease surveillance and response in line with the requirements of international health regulations. Government will continue to build human resource capacity to ensure provision of quality services. The Mauritius Institute of Health and the Diabetes and Vascular Health Center, in collaboration with international institutions, will accentuate their campaign on the prevention and treatment of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Diploma courses in specialized fields, such as diabetes and cervical cancer, will also be organized. With a view to addressing substance abuse, government will implement a national drug control master plan on harmful use of alcohol and drugs. In order to ensure food safety, government is implementing a national food safety action plan by focusing on enhanced food inspection activities, capacity building, review of legislative framework, public awareness campaigns, and quality control. Government is committed to containing and reversing HIV prevalence in the population. In collaboration with the NGOs, government will conduct an aggressive campaign to address stigmatization and discrimination regarding HIV. The population will be encouraged to undertake HIV testing after appropriate counseling. With a view to further reducing HIV infections among high-risk population. Government will set up drop-in centers in each health region to offer a wider range of services and will scale up its harm reduction strategies, namely the methadone substitution therapy and needle exchange program. Government will ensure that antiretroviral drugs are made available to all those who need it. Living under a secure roof is a fundamental right. Government will strengthen social and cultural integration 